All right, people. Fisher shots here. Uh, AKA Griffix. If you see me on League of Legends, I'm here to give you another tutorial on how to fix your internet connection. Mainly League of Legends. This will work on other games. But you have to tweak a couple of things. Um, let me get started because the last video I made had a lot of good good ideas. A lot of good people liked it. A lot of people complained because I guess I rushed through it, you know. So I just thought I'd make a whole new video, step by step, and show you how to do it. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to access your router so we can block the ports in your games. Every game is different. They have different server ports. You can just do a quick Google search. And actually, let me just do it right here. So I'll show you this. League of Legends ports. And what it does is a lot of computers, they just block a lot of connections that's coming into your router. And we're going to open them manually so we can connect to the game better you know not lag so let's do this and by the way this doesn't fix all the lag in your computer if you have a slow computer a slow internet you know you obviously can't fix it without buying a better computer this is just to fix the internet just just fix all internet issues you can have you can have a fast computer and lag in game and this is probably why so what I want you to type in is IP config space slash all I'll write that in the description. All right. And how I got to this menu, I went to your start menu, typed in CMD. Or if you're on an older computer, you go to run, then you type in CMD. Once you're here and you type in IP config, what you want to do is find the default gateway. It could be different. Most of the time it's 192.168.1.1 or 0.1. Sometimes it's completely different. It depends on the internet provider. Once you have that number, Go to your Internet Explorer. You want to keep this open because you do need your IPv4 address. So keep this page open. Um, you want to log in. Okay, this is a lot of people are confused in this part. When you go to your router, it's either going to be admin admin if you never changed it, or admin and password. Uh, you can do a quick Google search on your default passwords. Search up the model number of your router, and you can find it. And if someone in your house changed it and you forgot it, you can actually reset your router just holding down the little reset button and it'll put it back to the default username and password. So let's get right into it. I always mess up my password. Alright, you know you have all these options. First thing you want to go to is your firewall settings and port forwarding. This is what we're going to be doing today. Now remember these ports that I brought up earlier? Alright, these are what we're port forwarding. This can be a lot different, like there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but it's mainly the same on every single router. You just go just click on your computer. Mine is over here, the IPv4 address. Mine is 1.13. Then I put custom port. I usually do both. I know this one says UDP, TCP. So, oh, one sec. Yep, UDP. Uh, so I usually do both because sometimes I just do one side and I, I don't know, I just feel comfortable doing both. Um, so you just type in the numbers 2099, type in 2099, click add, and it goes down there and type in all the numbers. When you get to something like this, same exact thing, go 5000, 5500, and you click add, it'll go to the bottom. Simple enough, you know, you add all your ports. Then, after that, and explain this in my other video, you want to go into your, you go to the start menu again, type in firewall. Alright, this is, this is, I think, the problem that people are having. The, the port forwarding, you know, easy enough, but you want to do the same thing. I do mine in the inbound and outbound. I'm pretty sure you only need to do it in the outbound, but you can do it here too. Is, um, you go to, Go to your inbound first, action, new rule, then program, then you find your League of Legends, mine's on my desktop, and allow connection, and that's it. I already did it, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna finish this. But, uh, you wanna do that to your inbound and outbound because you can open the ports on your router, but it won't open the ports on your computer unless you would allow it to. So if your firewall's on, make sure you do this. Um, another thing 
that I do sometimes. I know it's not recommended, so don't say you heard it from me. You told me to do it because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do it. Some people don't want to firewall all their ports. They don't want to do everything. So sometimes they just turn on the DMZ, the dematerialize zone. And what it does is when you type in your IPv4 address, which is right here, it'll open up every single port to that computer. Some people think it's unsafe though because now every single port's open, not just the gaming port. So keep that in mind. Another thing is a quick trick. If you want you port forward, this address can change on you because a lot of people have dynamic connections that's why some people are like oh it doesn't work it doesn't work I'm having issues let me show you the trick I found instead of getting this buying a whole separate static address from your internet provider check this out go to your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet right click and go to your open network and sharing center click on your connection then properties I usually disable this because sometimes there's compatibility issues, but that's yeah, you know, it's a whole nother <laughs> that's a whole nother topic. Uh click on your IPv4 address and click properties. Now, this is where this is where it comes tricky. This address, if you type in this, your preferred address over here, the subnet's the same and the default gateway, this number will never change. So once you pull forward, you'll never ever have to pull forward again because it makes it so that you have a static connection so you don't have to pay for it through your IP uh, internet service provider so I learned that because that's great for gamers because if it changes then you have to pull for it all over again it lags and it's a lot of trouble in your DNS servers once you do this you have to change your DNS I mean you can always use the stock ones I personally use a, it's a program called Namebench or you know you can use OpenDNS but I use a program called Namebench. Let's load this up for you. And you run it on your computer. It takes a little while because it checks a uh, bunch of DNSs. And I actually find the fastest DNS uh, where you live. Then you just input that there and call it a day. So once you pull forward, then <laughs> you have a fast DNS. You pull forwarded, your IP never changes. And that solves a lot of your problems. Another quick tip I'm going to give to you is I'll put it in the general description too. Is your drivers, your internet drivers, your your video card drivers, they can be out of date. So I recommend you can you can buy driver reviver. I bought driver reviver or you can buy like a you know anything that scans for your drivers or just keep or the safest way and the best way cuz sometimes you know programs like this don't work for certain people I've heard people having issues is when you go to your let me go to my video card I got AMD catalyst go on AMD's website and find the driver yourself and download it make sure you keep on top of your graphics cards and your network cards a lot of people go by your networks cards if it's not updated you know you can have ping issues there just alone if your cards is really outdated and there was an update to fix that so that's just another quick thing I want to break up um what else, what else, what else? Is there anything else? Went over DMZ, we went over firewall, yada yada yada. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than, you know, keep up your drivers, port forward all the way through, and change it on your network settings so that doesn't change, and you should be set with this. If this doesn't work for you and you're having like an error when you put in a specific port, I mean, ask me questions I mean it's fairly fairly simple you can actually come over here this is what I want to bring up when you go to the actual League of Legends technical support you can click on this scanner over here after you pull forwarded and this will check all the ports that you just opened and it'll tell you which ones are closed if it's still closed make sure you have to port that number but all these numbers are the ones that you opened so this is like a quick double check to make sure that your computer opened it and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment below. And uh, yeah, if you have you have any suggestions, you have any complaints, I mean, just let me know. And uh, enjoy making these videos. So uh, yeah, thanks and subscribe if it helped. Uh, I'd like to see you come by here more. And I'm dragging this on, so <laughs> I'll see you.